In this video, I'll be discussing and demonstrating pipe strain. Pipe strain is a condition where we have misalignment between a machine and the piping that connects to that machine. That misalignment can cause deflection of the housing, which causes the bearings inside that housing to be misaligned, which causes the shaft and the coupling to also become misaligned, which introduces misalignment at our coupling, causing vibration and other problems down the road. We need to measure and correct pipe strain before we attempt an alignment on a machine. To do that, I like to set up a set of dials on the coupling similar to what I have done here. Uh, on the rim of the coupling, I've got a vertical and a horizontal dial that will indicate and move relative to the position of the coupling. As I then loosen or tighten the flange connections, it will allow that housing to twist and bend, giving me a reading on my dials showing that I have pipe strain. To demonstrate pipe strain, I've used a piece of ready rod through this flange down to the table, and I've also got a nut on the ready rod that I will use to thread up the ready rod and push on the bottom of the flange, causing it to deflect upward. This will demonstrate pipe strain for us. I've also used, put a dial on the flange to um, measure the amount of movement we have on the flange. So let's start by putting about 10 thou um, worth of movement on our flange. So we can see we have 10 thou on the dial on the flange. On our vertical we have about 2 or 3 thou deflection and movement. On our horizontal, it looks like we have about one thou, maybe just less, a little tiny bit less than one thou. That's not a lot of uh, misalignment directly on the flange. Ten thou would be very easy to have with things like maybe crushing a gasket a little bit too much, using the incorrect torque, something along those lines. Okay, so let's push this flange up to twenty thou. So that's about 20 thou on the flange now. On my vertical, it looks like I have about four and a half thou. On my horizontal, two and a half. Some of the other things that can cause pipe strain, other than misalignment, are things like a gasket that's too thick or too thin. If I have piping that's unsupported, where the piping and the product inside the piping that weight of it is allowed to push on the flange of my machine, causing pipe strain. Another thing is also thermal expansion or contraction of the piping. If we have a hot product flowing through a section of piping or a cold product, it will cause that piping to expand or contract, pushing or pulling on the flange of our machine. If any of these are the case, obviously we need to correct them as best we can using the correct size gaskets, always best. If we have piping that's unsupported, we need to rectify that by supporting it properly. If we have thermal expansion or a possibility of thermal expansion using piping that has accommodations, um, either some type of flexible connection or aligning the piping so that it will be um, within alignment when the machine is running and at temperature, that will allow the machine to not have pipe strain when it's running. Thank you for watching the video. Now you know how to account for and correct pipe strain.